learned a lot, made no money filming that I just don't have the capacity to do it. For one year, I am still enjoying it. One video a week. This is my quiet time. Hi guys, I thought I would jump on because I have done one whole year of YouTube and that is putting out a video and a short once a week. So I have stuck to the plan that I put in place and I thought I would go through a few things that I've learned from being on YouTube for one whole year. First things first, you need to enjoy it. It does take time. So I wakeboard and surf and cold water dip and do a lot of active things. So for me, taking a camera along with me on those outings was, well, it is really easy for me to do so. I, so I just make sure that I go and have fun and then I film a bit as well. And so I can wrap it all up. And it's just remembering to film an intro and an outro. And so yeah, it doesn't really change much of what I'm doing because I'm gonna go and do the thing anyway. So I was always wakeboarding and surfing and cold water dipping. Um, so I've just decided to capture it on camera and take you guys along. What I found hard at first was finding the time to actually edit because obviously I'm editing everything myself and learning how to edit as well. Uh, so that's not the easiest. So I have some space in the week where I am in an area with absolutely no service, no signal, no Wi-Fi, nothing. And I'm there for about three hours. So I use that time to edit. So I just make sure that I have all my videos and any music that I need. And it's all ready in my um, iMovie. I'm still using iMovie. Uh, so it's all ready there to go. So I can spend that time editing and writing the caption, um, like in a Word document, so I can just copy and paste. and so it's all it's all sorted it's all that's my time per week to sit and edit so it's not encroaching on anyone else's time because obviously i have a family and so yeah that's my allocated time so i know that i have to have everything ready to go when i go to my um zoning out area from going on some trips and filming loads and trying to do a day one a day two a day three i figured out pretty quickly that that does not work for me it's a lot of editing and I do not have the time to do that. So I have found a system that kind of works for me at the moment. Obviously everything always changes and evolves, which I'm excited for. But at the moment, I know that I need to get my intro. I need to have my bulk of what I'm doing, what sport I'm doing, whether it's wakeboarding, surfing, cold water. And then I need to have a few scenic pictures, scenic filming bits and... I need an outro and so as long as I know that I've got my set bits that are going to go into the vlog I'm good I can't just go and film everything I do not have the time to sit down and go through hours and hours of footage it does not work for me at this time so I really have it in my mind what I'm going to film what I want the vlog to be and I go out and literally only get the bits that I need obviously I will miss some bits some fun bits not capture everything but I just don't have the capacity to do it. Maybe in the future I will. Maybe in the future I'll have a, like an actual person that can come and film. That would be a goal, wouldn't it? Maybe one day. I watch a lot of YouTube and I'm constantly taking tips and tricks from others, um, other vloggers that I love. I'm like, oh wow, they've got that angle, that's amazing. So I might try it. Obviously I'm really, really new to this, so I can't um, get anywhere near their level but it just changes my way of thinking it gives me an idea that I can um, use and then create my own uh, way out of it so that's always good because I don't actually know a lot of vloggers um, I don't have any friends that are vloggers so I'm really on my own in this so I have to get that inspiration from watching amazing vloggers online and um, getting tips that way um, so yeah, if, if you see something that I am doing and you're like, Lex, sort it out, figure another way to do this, please happily drop a comment. I'm all ears. Um, I'm happy to take on um, different ideas and different ways of doing things and learning something new. So I'm really open to that. So I just want to get better. That's the, that's the end goal. The next thing is I do want to get better. So... I just try and make each video just a, like 1% better than the last one, if I can. Um, if, it, if I 
watch myself back and I'm super bored of listening to myself, then I might try and be a bit more upbeat in the next video. Or if I've got really bad camera angles in one video, then I'll be like, okay, I know that happened last time, so I need to get a better camera angle this time. Um, just things like that. Trying to really focus on what I did wrong. Um, also what I did well, but mainly what I did wrong, because then that, that's better to aim and fix. Um, so yeah, so I'm quite critical in that sense. So hopefully I will just keep getting better over time. But that's the goal. I thought I would talk about money. What money have I made on one year of YouTube? Um, nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I have put filming time into this. I've put editing time into this and I have not made any money. I was very aware of that going in with the area that I'm in, my niche, um, that it's the long game if it's going to be monetized. Um, so that's not too much of a problem for me. I just wanted to make sure that I actually enjoy doing this and that I'm learning a new skill. That is the aim at the moment. So who knows where it will take me. Um, obviously, it'd be great to earn some money from doing this. But at the moment, I am just enjoying it and experimenting with it. And that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'll just keep going, keep learning, keep enjoying it. And that is the goal right now. So overall, being on YouTube for one year, churning out one video a week and one short a week. And so far, so good. I am still enjoying it. Made no money. Learned a lot. Continue to learn. And I can't wait for this year coming up because we are in the dead of winter here in England. It's the beginning of February and the year just gets better and better. This is my quiet time. Uh, so I'm thoroughly enjoying the time to be mellow and not really be on socials at the moment, apart from YouTube. Um, and the season's just going to kick off and the lakes are going to open and I've got some surf trips planned and I'm very excited to look back on the year that I've just had and tr and know where I can improve in my vlogs for this coming year. So that makes me really excited to bring you guys some good content, uh, which I hope you thoroughly enjoy. So... Sorry, this is again talking at the camera. I am back on the water more and more as the spring comes into play and as we sort of dip out of winter. So, yeah. All right, cool. Well, have a good week. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, leave a comment, say hi. Um, let me know if you're in the water, on the water, wakeboarding, surfing, cold water dipping, where you are. Do you get to go in the sea? Do you get to go in the lake? Um, let me know what you're doing. I would love to hear it. So, um, yeah, have a good week. Bye.